225,000 kids in Chicagoland are suffering from what we call clothing insecurity. That means that they don't have appropriate or adequate or affordable clothing. Cradles to Crayons opened in 2016. In that time, we've served 200,000 kids in Chicagoland, which is pretty amazing that it's been three years and we've been able to do that. Our philosophy is kids come first, so we're always thinking about how we can do our jobs better so that we can reach more kids. Everyone goes the extra mile. Everyone wants our volunteers to feel engaged and happy. I volunteer a few places, but one of the reasons I love to volunteer at Cradles is they focus on the whole child. They make sure the child has everything they need. We work with 54 social service agencies around Chicagoland and talk regularly with uh, social workers and teachers and caseworkers who help families who are really struggling. We serve families facing financial hardship. I utilize the resource of Crowds to Crayons to provide them with what they need. The things that they have helped me with donation has been very helpful. Like the clothing for her, it has been really helpful, especially because she came a little bit earlier, so I didn't really get time to, to go shopping for her. They've also provided me with some diapers that have been pretty helpful because she has dirty a lot of diapers. And with my sons, there was a box of crayons that they had given him. They had the paint, all the tools that you could use for painting, and he loves to paint. He's pretty artistic. So that was, that was really nice to see his expression. It was, it was like, oh, they like warm my heart. It is very easy to get involved with Cradles to Crayons. There are so many ways you can volunteer. Do you know somebody who has some books that they no longer use, that are gently used, or clothes? Or you can make a donation. There are plenty of times to come and volunteer as an individual, to volunteer as a family or community, or as a corporation. Our job is really to improve not only people's financial lives, but because of our size and our scale and the resources, it's our commitment and our responsibility to give back to the community. So it's bigger than just writing a check to support, but also giving our time to make a positive impact on the community. One of the things that I think sets us apart is our philosophy of quality equals dignity. We spend so much time and we have our volunteers spend so much time sorting through all of the items that we get so we get the best items to give kids so they feel as excited about it as if it were a birthday present or a holiday gift. We're giving dignity to the kids but we're also giving dignity to the family. We had a family who lost everything in a fire. They had to start all over again with everything. But the first thing was having cradle to crayons. This family also was in tears because they, they couldn't believe they could get so much. Because even for other people, it might be just a little bit. But for this particular family, it was a lot to the point that mom thought that they may not deserve to receive all those things. I'm so happy we have Cradles to Crayons as a resource to provide a better service to our patients and uh, help them to meet their needs. It's really, really helpful, very rewarding. And I do thank the program because like I said, there are some people that truly can't get what they need at certain times and when you get something at a random time you never really know when it's going to be helpful until boom it's it's helpful then and there thank you thank you for enabling me and giving me the power to be able to give back to my community not only as a corporate partner but personally i'm tremendously proud and honored and humbled to be able to be a part of such a great organization please continue to support this organization it really does amazing work for the city, for the children, and for everybody who touches it. My wish for Cradles to Crayons is for us to be able to serve not only the 82,000 kids that we've identified we're gonna serve this year, but to exceed that and to exceed that in a way that we're able to provide the kids all the things that they ask for and need.